A recent poll shows a significant increase in American support for Israel in the days following the Hamas attacks. Morning Consult reports 41 percent of voters in the U.S. sympathize most with Israelis. That's a 13 percent increase from two years ago. The poll also shows only 9 percent of Americans are more sympathetic towards Palestinians. Joining us now is Cameron Easley, who conducted that poll. He's the lead politics analyst at Morning Consult. So, Cameron, your data was collected immediately after the attack. What stands out? Well, it's clear the last weekend's atrocities by Hamas have pushed Americans toward the Israeli side of the conflict. Uh, as you noted, we saw a 13 percentage point increase in the share who, who said that they sympathize more with the Israelis than the Palestinians. And this is a movement that we're seeing across the aisle. Uh, Democrats, independent voters, Republicans, all increasingly saying that they sympathize more with, with the Israelis than the Palestinians. So how much of public sentiment is driven by current events like what we saw in the last week? Well, you know, especially when it comes to um, things of, of, of a foreign policy nature, uh, it's almost as much about Americans having opinions that they didn't have before than it is about them actually changing their mind from the side of a particular conflict. You know, what we saw from, from before the Hamas attack to after is uh, almost a 10-point drop in the share of voters who didn't have an opinion. So a lot of this uptick is is really just voters who maybe didn't didn't have a position on this before and are now kind of being pushed into the, the pro-Israeli camp. Well, that's interesting. So based on the new data, how is the Biden administration doing? Well, I think the Biden administration has gotten some praise from some atypical or irregular quarters, uh, particularly on the Republican side of the aisle. Uh, and I think for that reason, we have not seen a huge shift uh, in the share of Americans who approve of his handling of the topic. Having said that, Americans weren't really crazy uh, about Joe Biden's handling uh, of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict before. Uh, again, though, Nearly a quarter of voters don't really have an opinion, so this is clearly not an issue that's going to be breaking through quite like something, a more domestic issue like the economy or, or health care or immigration might. I'm just going to ask you, how do those numbers break down from a political point of view, Republicans versus Democrats and independents? It's pretty much what you see with most polling questions on, on anything related to Biden these days. A, a majority of Democrats are in favor of his handling. Uh, a larger majority of Republicans are opposed to it, and independents are are opposed to it by a, a roughly two to one margin. Uh, you kind of see those kind of numbers on on Biden's general job approval rating, and you see that in issue specific areas as as well. Well, based on our reporting here at CBS News, we've heard from a former number of government officials who say that they think this conflict could go on for days, if not weeks. So, does it have a potential impact on 2024? Well, I think it could. It's important to, to remember that foreign policy issues do typically take a, a backseat to, to more domestic issues when it comes to national elections. Another thing to consider is that both former President Donald Trump and current President Joe Biden have fairly strong records as staunch supporters of Israel to run on. So I don't see this as a particularly wedge-type issue that Republicans could wield against Democrats. Having said that, there is less consensus among the Democratic voter base and in elected Democrats on Capitol Hill and elsewhere on the question of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, given that Republicans are spending so much time trying to paint Democrats as outside of the mainstream or extreme. The fact that there are some liberals or, or progressives in some quarters who are still, you know, voicing staunch support for Palestine in, in the wake of these attacks, it, it could be a, a potential danger for the party in power. Cameron Easley, thank you for your analysis. Thank you for having me.